Hey guys, so we are here with another episode of the Artsy Trio. I want to say messy journaler, but that's not the video we're doing. However, I have a YouTube series here that I've been doing called the Messy Journaler, where we play with a particular journal of mine. Ugh. This one, which we do really messy things in to create interesting artistic pages. Sometimes I have to take it outside because it just gets really messy and I do splattering and all kinds of stuff. So there's a reason I'm sharing this with you in this video. <laughs> so I was thinking about this month's mood board that Mike Deacon, my friend Mike Deacon has put together. And by the way, the RT Trio is a series I do with my friend, good friend Mike Deacon and Bea Grob. Their videos will be linked in the video description when you're done with this one. Please go watch theirs and give everything a like, share, and subscribe. That would be great. All right, spiel is done. Um, I was looking at this month's vision board from Mike, which is this one. You can get your own copy of this vision board in the RT Trio Facebook group, which will also be linked down below. He has these beautiful colors. You've got this pinky magenta color. You've got this tealy green, and there's some gold. And I looked at it and said, messy journaling. <laughs> I don't know why I did. Um, and also said, acrylic pouring. Wait, can you do that in an art journal? Because that's like really messy and it like goes everywhere. But then wait, why can't you? But it's really messy. It's going to go everywhere. But let's try it. So I think we're going to have to try it. We're going to use just a little teeny tiny paint. Um, I'm going to tape the journal off like I do with the messy journaler. Um, we are we have our box here. This is the box I use when I do the messy journalers inside or out and the plastic So we are going to you can tell can you so we are going to prep the journal and We are going to see if we can do an acrylic pour on it and then see where we go from there last month we did the alcohol ink page experiment and we had all this on the back that's okay because I'm gonna want a place to make notes and to put the vision board. I don't care if there's a stain on the page. That's fine. We're going to actually work on this one. And I'm actually not going to even glue the vision board in or do the notes until the end because when I say this part's going to be messy, yeah, it's going to be messy. So let's prep our journal. Let's tape everything off and get it ready to go. And then we can mix up our paint. I will speed th forward through my process and I will be back.
can't leave it alone. I'm going to put gloves on because it was a pain in the neck to get my hands clean. And FYI, if you're going to try this, I do recommend you actually put gloves on. I just want to try stretching it a little bit and pouring off some of the paint that's accumulating in the middle. But again, ultimately, well, can you do an acrylic pour on like a journal page? I have no idea. So we're gonna find out because it's too late now to decide. Okay, I just can't leave it alone. I need to walk away, but I do like the addition of the gold paint. Now that was dropped on from the bottle. This is a model paint, like for car, car models and miniatures. Um, it's from Hobby Lobby, and it's called Model Color Acryl Acrylic Colors, and this is their gold. Um, it's by Vallejo. Um, I don't have tons of metallic paint, but I do have a few. This is actually one of uh, my favorite ones. It's um, not super expensive. You don't get like 20 tons of it. If you don't use a lot of gold paint, this little bottle will last you a long time. Anyway, I love, we're gonna, we're gonna walk away. We're gonna try hard and let it dry and then we can see what happens. Um, will it crack? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to crack as it dries or because it's on a piece of paper. Um, it's thick paper. It's watercolor paper. But yeah, I don't know. We'll find out together. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so it's the next day. I know for you it's just a few seconds, but it's the next day. Now, most of this is dry except for this little spot right here is still wet. I can see it. However, I think we're going to carefully pull it out of the box and um, uh, take all the plastic and tape off and um, open the journal carefully so I can do my notes on the other side. But I better put gloves on first in case something down there is also wet. It was really hard to clean my hands yesterday, so there's that. All right, let me get my gloves and I'll be back.
Okay, uh, we've made our notes on this side. Our paint is continuing to dry on this side. This part again is mostly dry. This part is not. It doesn't appear to be cracking or anything, which actually surprises me because I expected that um, if I got too much paint on here, it would crack. Uh, I did have a discussion with my uh, cohorts here in the RC Trio, and I was I told them, I, well, I told Mike especially, you know, right away, for whatever reason, your uh, mood board um, inspired me to think, uh, can you do an acrylic pour in a journal? Um, and we kind of all were in agreement that sure, you probably can, you just need to make sure you don't put too much paint, which I said in the beginning of the video, and this conversation actually happened last night after I'd done it already. Um, so I do think if you're gonna experiment with this, you do need to make sure you don't use too much paint, but also, again, I do think I say earlier in a prior clip, this is watercolor paper, um, and you need to use really thick, heavy paper or chipboard to do this, I think. I think anything um, thinner is probably not gonna work well. That being said, are we probably gonna try it in a messy journaler episode? more than likely so stay tuned for that um, anyway we're gonna continue to let this dry I'm gonna set it aside I've got other things to work on and I will be back with you for me it'll be probably another day for you just a couple seconds hey guys so our acrylic pour experiment in my art journal is a success um, it, I still think there's a spot like right there that might be a little bit wet but it's mostly dry and how pretty is that? I can't wait to do some more experimenting. So again, I think um, what I did to accommodate doing this in the art journal was I made sure I picked my experiments journal, which is really thick watercolor or heavy mixed media paper. Uh, I also didn't add a lot of water to most of the paints. The only one I added water to was the gold because it was a little bit of a thicker paint. Um, so I wouldn't add too much water to them and um, don't use a, too much paint. On this one, I kind of, this is borderline maybe too much paint, um, but it's drying uh, uh, fairly flat. I mean, it's warped a little bit, but it's not too bad. So yeah, anyway, give it a try, see what you think. Go check out Mike and Bea's videos and um, see what they did with this month's division board. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some inspiration out of it. If you wanna see what other people are doing um, with the mood board this month um, or vision board whatever you want to call it <laughs> or get a copy of said mood board vision board um, join our Facebook group the RT trio all the relevant links are in the description below don't forget to like share and subscribe and um, check out my social media links if you want to follow me somewhere um, or shop in my Etsy shop to support the free content or become a patron uh, over on Patreon. All of that is in my link tree list of links. Anyway, that's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I will see you in the next video.